All right. Well, welcome back to the iWealth podcast. I have a special guest with me tonight. I have my wife, Trudy, and high school sweetheart that's with us. And uh, today I want to talk about the iWealth Foundation and kind of how that started and, and where we're at. And quite frankly, I don't remember the year, mm-hmm. uh, Trudy, that we started it. But um, but I remember I remember coming back and are coming back from a meeting and talking about, hey, we should start a foundation. And mm-hmm. and uh, there was a company out there that we were able to start it with as little as $5,000. Yeah. And we scraped that together and said, this is important. And I'll, I'll put you on the spot. Do you remember why we started it? I have my interpretation. Do you remember the why behind it? Boy, I just knew we wanted to help people and my passion has always been kids so I knew that that was something that we wanted to help and I don't remember the full reason yeah. behind it. well that that certainly was part of it but the other part was is we were starting to have our family and mm-hmm. our children and it was like let's set a foundation up so that they have something that they have to give out right you know if we were dead and gone that they would have to get together take the interest and hand it out to a yes. nonprofit. you yes. know And um, anyway, so we started this foundation, and uh, it was the Brad and Trudy Connors Family Foundation way back when. (laughs) Yeah. And then, and then when we switched over, and and iWealth was formed, and things like that, then we then we moved it over to the iWealth Foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm proud to say, one percent of our um, net revenues go into the foundation every quarter. There's a check getting written. And it goes into the foundation, and it continues to grow over time. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe just talk about what we just started out of the foundation this year. We had this year. We decided that we would like to give some scholarships out to two of our well, near and dear to our heart schools. And one of them is Wasika. Um, we've loved Wasika schools. They've been great for our family. And then of course, where Brad and I met, we had to consider, uh, <laughs> Waterville Elysian in Morristown. So we are giving scholarships, uh, one to Waterville and two to Wasika, um, for, um, anybody who's involved in the business program. Uh, when we were, st- when my daughter was starting to, apply for scholarships and things. There was a lot that went towards medical or band or musical or anything like that or engineering. But the entrepreneurships or the business side of it, we just felt like that wasn't, there weren't many opportunities for those kind of kids to get scholarships. So that's where we decided to go with that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you don't know, Trudy has her own business, still does a hair salon in in town and Mm -hmm. obviously I wealth with myself. And so we're both business owners and, and grew up with, you know, family businesses and things like that. And Mm -hmm. so it's just really important from an entrepreneur standpoint to try to find these local kids that might want to get in business for themselves and help support whatever kind of school that looks like, whatever that they're going to. So, yeah. So last year we did two $1,000 scholarships in Wasika and then one 1,000 over in Waterville. It was kind of, kind of cool to hand those out uh, out of the iWealth foundation. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to keep that obviously moving forward. And then recently, so just to let everybody know, we just recently were able to tuck it underneath the Wasika area foundation. And that's been really cool. So you know, in the past, there wasn't a way for local advisors to manage money in the Wasika Area Foundation. Those funds, you know, went to the St. Paul Foundation. They're hooked together. And I might be going in the weeds a little too much, but there just wasn't a way for me to continue to invest the funds and be in control of it. Right. And now Wasika has set it up so that you can. And so we we took our foundation and we gave it to the Wasika Area Foundation. They, in turn, opened up an account at iWealth. And so we get to help manage those funds that are in there, but now we're part of the Wasik Area Foundation, and it really kind of aligns with our core values. And I just think that the foundations, Wasika, anywhere in our communities are such a vital part of our communities and be able to help many more people than what just you and I can. For sure. I mean, you and I have came to a couple of events over in Mankato with the Mankato Area Foundation, which is awesome. Yeah. They've actually helped the Wasik Area Foundation with some of the structure we're talking about. They've been mm-hmm. very giving, which is really cool. And so, um, so anyway, I just wanted to, you know, I think it would be neat for people to understand that the 
iWealth Foundations out there and kind of what we're doing and yeah. the recent change with the Wasik Area Foundation and things like that. So, and why not hear it from uh, from Trudy and I who started it years ago? Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty special. All yeah. right. Well, thanks, Trudy, and everybody have a great day.